Today we're going to look at the newly released Adventure Kit 2 from Inventor.io. The theme of this kit is Day Zero, the AI Apocalypse. So different from Kit 1, which was 30 days lost in space, this kit is more expanded, has more parts, uh, more electronic components. So we'll look at those and then we'll also compare it to Kit 1 briefly. If you stick around until the end, I will give you my thoughts on whether you should go straight to Kit 2 or if you should still start with Kit 1 and if there's really any difference between the two. Here we have Adventure Kit 2, Day Zero AI Apocalypse by Inventor.io. So this is the second version of their Adventure Kit. The Adventure Kit 1 was the 30 Days Lost in Space kit. It comes in cardboard box, and when you open it up, we have this nice plastic box. I'll show you a little bit later how it compares to the Kit 1, but it's much bigger than the original kit. So, pretty sturdy tabs there. And then we have a handle so you can take it around um, with you. And we have a little cover. And then here are all our parts. Okay, we've gone ahead and unpacked all the parts and taken them out of their packaging and laid them out just to give you a sense of everything that you get in the kit. So there's a large number of items in this kit. Um, here's your main microcontroller, the Hero XL. It's bigger than the one in Adventure Kit 1, more I.O. Um, you get some motors this time. So there's a stepper motor, a regular DC motor, and then a server motor. There's a large number of display elements. So there's this uh, LCD screen, another LCD screen. This is a touch screen. Um, this also is a screen. It has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And then we have our four-digit seven-segment display. And we have a single-digit seven-segment display as well. We have an RFID reader with a card and a keychain fob. We have a radar, ultrasonic. Um, we have sound sensor. We have a relay here, I believe. Then this is a temperature humidity sensor. Here's a rainwater sensor. Here's a motion detection sensor. So a lot of things, and we'll look a little bit more at that full list a little bit later. You get a number of resistors like we had before. I really like that they have now included this card that explains to you how to read the resistors bands um, right that's tricky if you don't know what that is and it looks like it's a sticker so you can take it off and stick it onto the case itself there's a number of additional parts here um, LEDs we had a number of those from before there's a couple buzzers it looks like um, but there's capacitors and other elements there's an, a couple ICs in here as well so a lot more complex um, parts than kit one and then a large number of wires so they have the same kind of band of wires like they got in kit one but I really like that they've provided shorter wires so one of the big challenges as I'm going through kit one is that the wires are very long so it's kind of annoying or easy to get very bird's nest type wiring going so here we have the website for the Adventure Kit 2. You can purchase from here. It also gives you a little bit of background and gives you a list of a lot of the parts included. So most of these we've talked about before earlier in the video. Here's the Hero XL. Here is the display with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and a screen. Here uh, is the touchscreen, here's the LCD backlight, etc. 
this is kind of interesting. This is a breadboard power supply module. Um, you connect it to your breadboard and then you provide power external to the, um, the circuit. There's a gyro, which is pretty cool. Talked about all these other things before. Here's a driver board for the stepper motor. Here is the rainwater sensor. You have a sound sensor module, a joystick module, infrared receiver, and then the remote control. So you can use the remote control to send key presses to the board using the IR receiver and then do something interesting with that. And this was a relay, like I mentioned before. And those are most of the parts. So just really wanted to call out most of the ones that were interesting that I hadn't mentioned earlier in the video. Just wanted to show a comparison between Adventure Kit 1 and Adventure Kit 2. So set up a similar plastic box with a little cardboard or paper printout on the top. But you can see Adventure Kit 2 is much bigger than Adventure Kit 1. You get a lot more parts and everything fits a lot nicer very easily in Kit 2. Kit 1, it was a little bit tight to fit all the parts and if you're trying to pack everything away. You can see also um, Kit 2 is a lot thicker, deeper than Kit 1. Um, and obviously Kit 2 comes with a lot more things, a lot more electronic components. The microcontroller is bigger, there are a few more breadboards, there are more displays. There's a lot more parts in Kit 2 justifying the increased size and Kit 2 is more expensive than Kit 1. In terms of the courseware, we log into the account and then on the main page we can go to Courses, Adventure Kit 2. AI Apocalypse. And then it takes you to the main screen. The first time it'll ask you to sign up or join the coursework or um, something like that. And then you'll get taken into this page. Here we'll see the long list of all of the different chapters for this kit. Notice a few of them are still in works. This is a beta version of the coursework. Um, it's currently in progress. They just recently released the kit um, to the public and they're still working through some of the coursework itself. I'm not too worried about that. It looks like by July um, everything should be available if everything goes according to their plan. From what I can tell so far this is a bit more complex of a kit so it may take you a little bit longer to get through some of the things and if you're waiting then you know you can play around with it there's a lot of hardware here and that's a good exercise in general just to kind of learn how to use some of the hardware on your own if we start with uh, getting started um, this looks a lot like adventure kit one it's the same setup um, all your courses or chapters are on the left side and then most of these have videos one thing I do find is interesting is this parts tutorial. So they do give you tutorials for the individual components in the kit, which I think is really cool. This way you can jump directly to that and just learn about that component and maybe play with it yourself. If you're either waiting on the storyline or maybe you completed it and now just want to do different things. This also looks like it's a little bit in works. Um, some of these don't have videos or don't have anything like the resistance tutorial doesn't have any information on it. Some of these just have pictures and then some software code, but the ones that are done have YouTube videos associated with them as well. So this looks like it's still something that's in progress. And then the actual storyline part of the course starts day zero. There's a little background blurb. Um, this might, um, again, be flushed out more. Maybe there'll be a little video introducing you to something. Uh, but for right now, it's just this background text. And then um, we jump into 
the starting of the course with the chapter one, first thing, getting everything set up, getting an LED to blink, etc. I just suspect, just looking from the names of the different kind of lessons, that the first few is probably going to be very similar to Adventure Kit 1, right? Getting the Arduino IDE set up, blinking an LED, doing a few things, and then we'll dive into more complex things further along. Um, some of these do look very similar, keypad, door lock, um, etc. But then there's all these new ones like the um, NFC badges, so using RFID reader, etc. And the uh, infrared, um, etc. So there's going to be some overlap with the Adventure Kit one, but I think that there's also a lot of differences. Um, just the number of parts you get is way more expanded in Adventure Kit two versus Adventure Kit one. So there's more opportunity to do some more interesting type projects. The video is um, a little bit different, obviously different storyline, so the way they present the videos has to be different. This one is a little bit less um, immersive, I guess is the word I would use, but so far, having looked at one or two of the videos briefly, um, yeah, it's fine, it's good, um, not a big deal. So there we have a first look at Adventure Kit 2. I still haven't finished working through kit one yet, but when I'm done with that, I will start working on the kit two exercises and then I'll upload a video um, on my impressions of where they are. Since the storyline is also not 100% complete yet, that probably won't be until much later. In terms of first impressions, I think kit one and kit two kind of are meant for different people. Um, kit two kind of feels like a level two up from kit one, so it's not like different necessarily different versions, but maybe different levels. So if you're a beginner and you're not quite sure if this is something that you will enjoy doing, you're just kind of curious, then I'd start with kit one. Kit one is also much cheaper than kit two. It's half the price. Normally kit one goes for about a hundred dollars. Uh, currently there's a sale I think for like around 65. And kit two is almost $200, um, 197 exactly, I think. Um, so kit two is really for advanced people or you have um, gone through kit one, but you could start with kit two and probably not have any real issues. A lot of the exercises do look like they're going to repeat. Uh, maybe not a lot, a few of them are gonna repeat from kit one, such as the first beginner um, projects. So there is some overlap. Um, just may not be as much hand-holding. And there's also not this element of day one, day two, day three in kit two. So either one is great, but I'd probably start with kit one for most people. And then if you enjoy doing that, think about whether or not you want to move to, to kit two and kind of get more advanced electronic components um, usage. All right, that's it for now. Talk to you soon. Later.